come to an end immediately, effectively. <laughs> After the hard work we do, we deserve not to be abused by anybody. Nurses are smart. They have minds of their own. It's time for them to act activate their smartness for the good of the people of Nigeria. Because they are the greatest defender of human rights within the healthcare delivery system. <laughs> <laughs> the moment is now. Get up, stand up, stand up for your right. Nurses, arise. <laughs> Let me tell you, your right is your life. Just as your right is your life, you must not give it up without a fight. <laughs> Everything is going to be all right. It's a promise. Everything is going to be all right. Wipe your tears. Get ready to open a new chapter. Nurses are patriots. We love our country. We love Nigeria. We have worked diligently for the country and our people. And we are not going to stop working. We are not going to stop defending the rights of our patients. myself to you. I am one of you. My name is Smart Madu Ajaja. I live in Houston, Texas, United States of America. I am a registered nurse, a writer, a speaker, an entrepreneur, and a human and environmental rights activist. With deep passion for social economic civil and criminal, and environmental justice. It is time we stand up for our... <laughs> Nobody we stand up for us, except by us. Yes, my journey started as a nurse, as a professional nurse in 1987 when I graduated from the State School of Nursing Benin City in Nigeria. And in my active years as a student, 
it has always been a fight for the betterment of nursing. And uh, I carried it on when I graduated and went to the National Orthopedic Hospital in Canada to work. And activism is in the blood. I've observed one thing, that Nigerian nurses have been so silenced for a very long time. And sometimes I get frustrated that we have accepted that as our fate until I left and got to the United States and saw that nurses are so respected for what they do. They are given a lot of respect. They are dignified. They are singled out for honor. So I decided to take a second look at what happens in Nigeria to see how nurses are trashed. They work hardest. They work under inhumane condition, but get paid the least. <laughs> nurses, I tell you this with confidence that the abuse of nurses must come to an end if we are all committed to seeing an end to it. The moment is now. This program is a call to action. First of all, we must hold ourselves to account before we start holding any other group of persons to account. What have we done as nurses to bring disrespect to our profession? What is our nursing education curriculum like? To me, it is a slavish curriculum that requires an urgent review. Now, and now. Why is there so much violence against nurses in the clinical areas in Nigeria? Nurses have been subject to violent attacks, either by patients or other members of the healthcare delivery system. Something has to give. And the moment is now. We are going to put an end to it, but we must commit to holding ourselves to account first before we hold any other group to account. <laughs> But who are we to the Nigerian people? We are Nigerian patriots. And so we refuse to be nothing less but professionals working for the good of every Nigerian who comes under our care and the overall interest of our country, Nigeria, and her healthcare delivery system, which has been on a steady decline for 60 years in the hands of a few with mostly no healthcare administration knowledge and experience. Did you hear that? In addition, we are what we are. We are nurses driven explicitly, explicitly, explicitly by knowledge, experience, and understanding of those brought under our direct nursing care are not robots. We are not robots who are manipulated by their owners to achieve outcomes that suits their purposes. <laughs>
Our hands as nurses are blessed and made strong by the hands of the Almighty. That is why we have the healing power that can change things around. Because it is not easy to be the eyes of the blind, the legs of the amputee, the love of life of the paralyzed and the unconscious. It takes a calling to be a nurse. Nursing is not for just everybody. You have to be called to the duty of nursing. Nurses are the greatest defender of patients' rights and the unavoidable coordinators of patient care that must be treated with respect and dignity and who cannot be silenced or oppressed because they deal with precious Nigerian lives which must no more be wasted or incapacitated as a result of professional negligence and medical malpractices associated with quackery. Nurses are instruments. Do nurses understand that they have basic human rights? The right to freedom of expression, the right to making informed choices, the right to defending their patients in the clinical environment, and the freedom of association. Something that nurses must start looking at, understanding their basic human rights, understanding their responsibility to their patients, understanding how to deal with other healthcare professionals so that patient care would not be compromised. If you are a nurse and you see yourself as a lesser professional, then something is wrong with you. You need to go and do some introspection because you are a professional. Unless they stop seeing themselves as lesser professionals. 
you must assert who you are as nurses because it is not easy to be a nurse. I am so proud to be a nurse. Nursing, nursing brought me to limelight, and I will never forget what I'm doing right now is giving back, and this is one of the ways I have chosen to give back to the profession. <laughs> something about quackery. This could be the first trumpet. I might as well be the last. Millions of Nigerians have died as a result of quackery and medical malpractices that are never investigated by the authorities. Because those who commit these crimes, these heinous crimes, are covered by their professional bodies. I wonder what the Nigerian Nursing and Midwifery Council is doing in terms of regulation of a nursing practice where we see pro proliferation of fake hospitals run by doctors that train and deploy work nurses as registered nurses. Whereas Nigeria graduates over 300,000 nurses every year and these young professionals are out of job, they have nowhere to practice their skills. Is that fair? Is our nursing and midwifery council doing their regulatory job? Nurses, the moment is now. We will start holding them accountable. They must represent the interest of nurses in Nigeria. Just like the Nigerian Medical and Dental Council are protecting their colleagues including those who graduate today and open clinics tomorrow and start murdering our people. The moment for accountability is now. <laughs> We refuse to be what anybody or group wants us to be. We are not this. We are what we are. We refuse to be what they want that us to be. We are what we are. That's the way we are. It's going to be. You can't educate us. For to be one of our children. Standing by my feet. Last is freedom. And liberty. Hey, we refuse to be what they want us to be. You can't educate nurses. You bring thousands of them without places of work for them.
You flood the market with quack nurses and expect the country to be healthy. Quack nurses are nuclear bombs. They are worse than the, the bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during the Second World War. Nigeria has been killing. Nigeria has been a killing feat of innocent citizens. Millions of them have died within a course of 60 years of abuse of nurses. That abuse has to end. 2020 is the benchmark. <laughs> Those who abuse nurses have no conscience. We are just healthcare providers. We are open to collaborating with our colleagues from other fields. So why can't we be respected? Why can't we be treated with respect and dignity? That's all we are asking. Nothing more, nothing less. Nurses deserve to be loved.
special program that is arrived because twice every Monday between 6 a.m. and 6 30 a.m. and later in the evening it is prepared. Aspiring to be 
really need them they choose to be outside nursing as an adjunct to what you are already as a nurse. I predict that nurses will be senators, nurses will be members of the House of Representatives, nurses will be members of the House of Assemblies, and a nurse will be president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Them, respect them and appreciate them for what they do. 